Well, that that did segue into the next question. So when I was gonna ask, well, pretty much I'm gonna ask you, what do you think is the common myth that needs to be debunked about the truck driving industry? And you kind of segued in there and you said, hey, you know, I always thought truck drivers were just not that intelligent and they just knew how to drive and that was it. Yep. So you, you, you're talking about, you're, well, not talking about, but you're saying that, hey man, that's not even the case. If you're not even an intelligent truck driver, you're not gonna last that long in this industry. Nope, <laughs> totally agree. And I think, and, and I believe you because you're the second driver that I talked to that actually had a background in sales, a background in sales, number one, because we both know that, and I've been in sales, you you don't you're not at the top or in the top three or the top five if you're not an intelligent salesperson. You know, yep. you have to know you number one, you gotta know your product. Number two, you gotta know how to understand and read people and what their wants and desires are. Mm -hmm. And then you gotta know how to close them, right? You gotta yep. you gotta ask for the sale. So with that being said, you know, I've come across more truck drivers that I, you know, that are very intelligent, that are very knowledgeable. And so so tell me this. Going from commission or, or or salary plus commission to driving a truck, what kind of transition has that been? Because you know I'm a commission type guy. Like my mind is motivated by commission. Like okay, if I, you know if I close this many, uh, you know I'll make this amount. But with you, with you know now having that mindset and then going into the truck, there's not necessarily a commission, but there is you know uh, a settlement, you know or you know, the miles that you're driving or the percentage of the load. So is, does your mind, is your mind wrapped around? Cause I'm trying to figure out how does your mind transition to, okay, I'm getting this commit. I can earn, you know, X amount of dollars if I close this many people, but with driving, you're not closing people, you're, you're, you're delivering loads. So how does the mindset switch for the you to have that success in this industry too? Yeah, that's a good question, man. Um, it, 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 it the, the transition, the space between those two places is it's less space there when it comes to the work that I do for my dad, okay. right? Because I get paid a percentage of what my truck does. So I'm not closing mm -hmm. people, but it is the same philosophy, no mm -hmm. working, no eating, right? It is right. the same thing, which, which, right. which, which I got in sales, right? Um, I've done snow plowing for a okay. company called Curtis Contracting up the street as well. They're hiring right now. They pay $50 an hour half of the shifts that they call us out for when we go out um we just sitting there on standby for 12 hours okay. that's the weirdest that's the weirdest thing in the world to me bro to just get 600 dollars for just sitting there i'm cool with it i'll take it but i'm used to working for mine and if something if some results ain't happening then there's no paycheck you know what i'm saying right. so that's that's a bit of a weird thing i can right. get used to it though <laughs> I get used to it though. <laughs> but it is a it is a, a a bit of a of a difference, even in how I get paid with my dad. I've always felt that my income is more capped in trucking mm -hmm. what I do now than it was in sales. In the sales. You know I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In sales, man, you wanna you wanna you wanna scale up. I mean, you know, you you double your sales force, you can double your your your, your income. You know what I mean? But I've heard several times in the trucking industry from several veterans that sometimes it ain't that easy to increase your money in trucking. Sometimes you just gotta roll with what's available, and that's because as a truck driver, you're not in control of the freight. So if the person that's in control of the freight pull a switch up on you or pull a rate change on you or whatever, you got two choices: either take it or not. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's just, it, it, I've all, I have always kind of felt that um, the opportunity to top out in sales is non-existent where in the line of work that I'm doing, no, it's probably not like this in all trucking, then that, 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 that top out space um, exists. But, you know, as long as the top out space allows me to still live a good life, right? you know, and it does right. offer some, some degree of stability, trucking what I'm doing now offers more stability than, than, than the sales, you know what I'm saying? Because the sales, I had to get up and go out there and make it happen every day and trucking, I got to do that as well. But you know, if I got a contract to deliver chips right now, I know I'm good till April or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Right, so right. it is a, it is a, it is, it is, it is pros and cons. 